those coronavirus stimulus checks are starting to be deposited in the bank accounts of those who qualify. The first flight of stimulus checks due to millions of Americans via direct deposit are supposed to be complete today. Tamaretta Westbrook from Texas says she got hers this morning. I jumped up <laughs> and I was just excited. I was very excited. For those who qualify but haven't gotten their stimulus checks yet, the Treasury Department has launched an app portal on the IRS.gov website for Americans to submit their banking information to expedite the delivery. But the app is already experiencing technical difficulties. Meanwhile, the Treasury says paper check deliveries are expected to start next week. Correspondent Andrew Dimbert. The MTA is getting the question people keep asking is when will this be over? I say, personal opinion, it's over when we have a vaccine. It's over when people know I'm 100% safe and I don't have to worry about this. When does that happen? When we have a vaccine. When do we have a vaccine? 12 to 18 months. Who determines that? The federal government has to test the vaccine FDA. That's uh, a big gap, 12 to 18 months, yes. I say the sooner the better. Earlier, before the governor's executive order on masks, Mayor de Blasio said that anyone who enters a grocery store or a supermarket should be wearing a mask. I'm giving the guidance to all supermarkets and groceries. Require customers, require customers to wear face coverings when they come in. Uh, put up a sign at the entrance around the store, making clear uh, that that's the right way to do things, and that's a requirement of your particular store. That is legal and appropriate. The city will back you up. The mayor has announced a multi-million dollar plan aimed at providing food to the Yorkers who are unemployed and are worried about food. In our $170 million plan is a $50 million investment in emergency food reserve for New York City. This will allow us to purchase and store 18 million shelf-stable meals. This means we'll have a fail-safe. De Blasio says the number of New Yorkers who are food insecure is expected to grow significantly. Wings News Time 905, more sobering numbers from New Jersey. We're still at war with coronavirus, says New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. I know you're itching to get out. You're itching to get back to normal. So am I. Who could blame you? We can't. We just can't yet. Murphy says the map of the Garden State is encouraging. I'll turn to a map that we've been looking at every day recently. The lighter the shade of the county, the better it is. Uh, and we're getting New Jersey lighter and lighter, and that's a good thing. But he says the numbers must take a turn. Which means fewer people get infected, fewer people in hospitals, fewer people in intensive care, fewer people needing ventilators, and please God, fewer people who pass. Before we let our foot off the gas, and then... We can begin the process responsibly. The reopening our state. He says more testing will also be key. Murphy says he's anxious to start using Rutgers University's newly developed and FDA-approved saliva test. Darius Ranzi has 10-10 wins news. CNN host Chris Cuomo just announced that his wife Christina now has coronavirus. The Cuomo himself is recovering from it. President Trump says his administration will be out with new guidelines tomorrow on slowing and stopping the spread of the virus and on reopening the country. We're going to be announcing uh, guidelines and we'll be talking about various states and it's very exciting. The president was clear. Some states may be able to relax restrictions and some states are still severe hotspots that won't. All that re-emphasized by Dr. Deborah Burks. We do have nine states that have less than 1,000 cases and less than 30 new cases per day. However, this is a highly contagious virus. But to all of you that are out there that would like to join together and just have that dinner party for 20, don't do it yet. I'm Constantini, Washington. California is the first state in the country to give cash payments to undocumented immigrants hurt by the pandemic. And there are people in need. Governor Gavin Newsom says half the children in California are born to at least one, as he says, immigrant parent. 27% of Californians are foreign born. 10% of the workforce is undocumented in this state. These are people who don't benefit from unemployment insurance or the president's stimulus program. And these families now will be getting some help. A $500 in household assistance up to $1,000. The governor says many undocumented workers work in essential businesses, such as restaurants and grocery stores, putting themselves, as he says, on the front lines of the outbreak. Jim Roof, Los Angeles. Governor Cuomo said again this morning that the state of New York is broke. 
There's hardly any tax revenue coming in. Westchester County Exec George Latimer says his county is about to be hit by a fiscal monsoon, which he says will spare no one. It's going to be a fiscal disaster for your town, for your village, for your city, for your school district, maybe for your fire district. It's going to be a disaster for the small business. He wants to reopen his business and doesn't know how he's going to do it. What kind of cash and what kind of employee base? Those coronavirus stimulus checks are starting to be deposited into bank accounts and those who qualify. The first flight of stimulus checks due to millions of Americans via direct deposit are supposed to be complete today. Tamaretta Westbrook from Texas says she got hers this morning. I jumped up and I was just excited. I was very excited. For those who qualify but haven't gotten their stimulus checks yet, the Treasury Department has launched an app portal on the IRS.gov website for Americans to submit their banking information to expedite the delivery, but the app is already 